everybody, it's Brian Heater, hardware editor with TechCrunch. We're here with Paul Judge from Luma. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm great. How about you? I'm doing well. Is this your first disrupt? Uh, this is my first disrupt New York. Okay. Um, yeah. You've been through this rodeo before. I've been on the West Coast, but my first time here in New York yeah. and in Brooklyn, so uh, a, a nice addition to the energy. So you, so you've been doing networking for I heard I heard the, the number fifteen floated around before fifteen years. Yeah, a long time. I, I did my PhD work at Georgia Tech. I studied networking and yeah. security, and for the last fifteen years since then, I've built networking and security companies for enterprises or large businesses. This is obviously a, a bit of a change, Luma. It's a it's a it's a young company. You're you're bringing some of that expertise over to the home side of things. Yeah, we did for 15 years. We built solutions for like the Fortune 500 and even small and medium businesses. And Mike and I came home and we looked at our home network and said, <laughs> "It's really not that yeah. good," and it had a lot of problems. Like we were buying all of these new smart TVs and IoT devices, yeah. all these cool things on our network, but we realized, wait, we still have a lot of dead spots. Have places where I can't stream music, places I can't watch videos, and we said, "Well, we solved these problems for large businesses over the years. We should." Make a product that solves it for homes. It's it, it's it's a, it's that old problem, right? Of of you know a lot of this infrastructure being set up a long time ago, when when all these things were going into place, you know nobody anticipated the kind of strain that we would be putting on our networks. I mean our, you know our, our light bulbs are connected to the network at this point. Like everything in the home is now connected. So you know it, 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 seems, it seems like an awful lot for us to ask to expect that our router is going to be able to maintain that load. Exactly. Those those traditional routers were created like a decade ago, yeah. when most people had maybe one or two computers. And it was like one router, and you expected that single router to cover your entire home. Yeah. And it's just it's insufficient now, because people are streaming more than ever, and there's, there's more interference in the home. And so the, the traditional single router approach just doesn't work. The laws of physics don't allow the radio waves to get through the walls and get through the windows. And so similar to what you did with sound, you, you put multiple speakers to cover your house in sound. We bring the same concept to the home of bringing multiple Wi-Fi access points to cover your house and surround Wi-Fi. So when did Luma actually form as a company? We started the company at the beginning of last year, the beginning okay. of 2015. This is really new. It is. We you, just you guys, it's amazing like how quickly everything sort of fell into place for you. It, it is. It's a, Not uh, fell into place, but <laughs> how, how quickly the, the ball started getting rolling. We came home and we realized we had a problem yeah. around kind of Wi-Fi coverage, and then we also realized, wait a second, you know, the, the network really should secure itself. There's all these hackers and all these yeah. viruses, and there's nothing to actually keep an eye on the network to make sure it's safe. And so in the past, you would install antivirus on a, on a computer or on your laptop, but now, as you said, with smart light bulbs yeah. and smart TVs, you can't install antivirus on those. And so there's a need for the network to protect itself. And so we had that problem. What we've been kind of overwhelmed by is the response from the world of how many people share those same concerns. And so, yeah, lots of orders so far as we've launched the product. So is this is this sort of an, I mean, I'm not going to uninstall antivirus on my computer. This is like an ad added level of security on top of that. This it, works in tandem. Exactly. So in your computers and your laptops, yeah. you will still have antivirus as you do now. But do you think about the, the smart, you know, coffee maker, smart light bulb, smart doorknob and TV, all of these other devices, they can't protect themselves. So the network needs to protect them. A am I subscribing to a service on top of the initial fee for that security? So the speed and the cybersecurity and the control visibility is all built into the device. And so you, you purchase the device. So people typically buy a three-pack of Lumas to cover their home. And so the three-pack retails $4.99. Yeah. Uh, the pre-orders were $2.99. Uh, but that includes all of the functionality. And then moving forward, there will be other services okay. that we can add to the network. But, but I'm, I'm still getting some, some back-end support from, from you guys in terms of security, in terms of like locking things down. There's somebody monitoring all these new malware threats to my, my IoT devices? Absolutely. We have a security research team that yeah. spends their days and nights understanding, you know, what are the latest threats to the home network? How do we put those into your device automatically? And so that your Luma network can determine, wait a second, this piece of connected luggage has a virus. I'm going to give you an alert through your app, through your Luma yeah. app, but then also we can uh, safeguard the other devices in your network so that infected computer can infect those. So we quarantine it and we allow it only to get to the internet so it can hopefully get a security update, but the connected luggage can infect everything else in your network. When, when, you're, when, when you're going around and, and, and pitching the device, I mean, what, do you, what do you see as, like, w which foot do you lead with? Is this, you know, is this a device for people who just you know, have some dead spots in their, 
in their place, or is this more of a security-focused device? And 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 you know, and and what comes with that is, I guess, trying to educate people without scaring them. You know, right. I think the, the first thing that, that, that people desire is, is great Wi-Fi. And most homes just have never had that. You know, what does great Wi-Fi feel like? What does yeah. it feel like when you can just stream and listen to music and watch sports anywhere in your home? Uh, and so we start with that. And the main point so of So they don't even know that they're not getting what they should be getting, is what you're saying? Or they don't know whose fault it is. They yeah. think it's maybe the service provider's fault. I was talking to someone yesterday and they could not stream yeah. in their bedroom. And so they would call the service provider and say, hey, I don't think you're delivering as much bandwidth as I you're supposed to. I always assume it's Time Warner's fault. I'm probably not alone in that. Yeah, and so a lot of service providers have called us and said our customers are blaming it on us. Yeah. But it's really the, the Wi-Fi. And so the, the service providers are pretty good at delivering uh, solid bandwidth, a good pipe to your door. The Wi-Fi just can't get it two rooms over, three rooms over, especially if you want to say, watch you know, Game of Thrones or, or, or Narcos or something yeah. in, in HD, two rooms over, or an ultra HD, two rooms over. The Wi-Fi waves just can't get there. So that's what we, we lead with and the challenge that most people have, just good, great, reliable Wi-Fi. How did you get on Amazon's radar? It's big news recently. Uh, so Amazon was certainly one of the places where we were selling Lumos, yeah. and we announced in November, and since then 30,000 people came and, and purchased Luma. From there, after Amazon was selling it, we started to have conversations, and Amazon has a lot of impressive hardware products, like the Echo, and the Kindle, yeah. and the Fire Stick, and they all rely on Wi-Fi. And so we start to have conversations about how Luma could help make Wi-Fi better. Uh, but then we started to look at and build product integrations, like you can say to Echo, hey Alexa, pause the internet. And Alexa will tell Luma to pause the internet. Or hey Alexa, it's bedtime. And Luma will turn off the internet for your kids and leave it on for the adults. And so there's a lot of visibility and parental controls built into Luma. And with Echo, we partnered to like make it all voice control. Paul Judge, thank you so much. Luma, check it out. Lots of good hardware coming up. Stick around.